Well, uh, as I mentioned, we are on the road here in Houston, but on our way here, we made a pit stop in Fort Worth, Texas, and we went to the Burlington Northern headquarters. Of course, that is a company being bought out by Warren Buffett. That deal already sealed. Uh, I sat down. I talked with Matthew Rose, who is the CEO of Burlington, and we talked about everything from uh, Warren Buffett being his new boss to energy, and more specifically, we talked about prices. This is what he had to say about oil, gas prices, and the competitive advantage here in the U.S. The industry averages 436 miles on one gallon of diesel to move a ton of freight. We're closer to 500 at BNSF. So when, when customers are worried about their fuel bill and what happens, it's no different than the pizza delivery guy. He's put a fuel surcharge on your, on your pizza. All of transportation put surcharges on, on all these movements. And if you're three to five times more fuel efficient, you really do have a cost advantage. And so we're hoping that um, fuel staying where it is, anywhere close to, you know, above fifty dollars, it'll be a real competitive advantage for the railroads. Are you surprised that we are where we are with fuel, with oil prices? A little bit. I mean, I, I personally don't see the demand that's holding oil up uh, as of today. It was above, just touch over eighty. Mm -hmm. So I, I am a little surprised. I don't think the demand uh, structure is there for it, but it's probably not sixty dollars either. So you know, we're probably. You know, it, it, we lose sight of the relative differences. I mean, when, if, if fuel were to go down to 60, we'd say, oh boy, fuel's really cheap. Again, it was $25 a mere six years ago. You think it'll go back to that level ever? I don't. I, I think we've seen a, a permanent shift. And I think, you know, really what's, what's driving it is what we're seeing going on in Asia. We've talked a lot about the growth of Burlington, and it certainly seems like there's a lot, you know, a lot uh, to look forward to ahead. But also, there's challenges too, and one of those is that, um, you know, Burlington being the largest transporter of coal, a lot of people have talked about, you know, moving to clean energy. Right. That's going to take away business for you. What do you do? So uh, the railroad will survive if we get rid of every coal asset in this country. The really? problem is the country won't survive, and and here's why. We rely on affordable, reliable energy in this country. It's just so clear. If you were to look at state by state, cost per kilowatt, and then put that against unemployment, the states, many of the states with the lowest cost, electricity costs, are the states that are doing the best. They have the lowest unemployment levels. And the reason is it's a competitiveness issue. And yet, you know, we get it. We being all the CEOs in this country, we need to find ways to put less carbon in our environment. But you can't go in and do harm and shut down a coal plant that can produce coal at two and a half or three cents a kilowatt and replace it with alternative energy at 10 or 15 or 20 cents. It will, it will be the greatest job destroyer that our country has ever seen. So what do we do? Because we, as I said, we get it. We want to reduce carbon in this country. We can do this. We need to find the right technology to take the carbon out of the coal burn itself.